You're with News 5 tonight. Singapore's science and technology sector is set to get a $330 million boost that's aimed at moving the nation towards a knowledge-based economy. Efforts will also be made to woo top-notch Singaporean scientists overseas and entice them to return home to work. Solutions to find clean water, ways to better diagnose diseases and leveraging 3D printing technology. Singaporeans will soon see more of such innovations being made for everyday use. These are among the plans announced by Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong at the Research Innovation Enterprise Council or RIEC meeting. The RIEC meeting is into its seventh year since the council was set up. And since then, the annual meeting has been chaired by Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong and attended by members made up of cabinet ministers as well as top-notch scientists and industry leaders from Singapore and around the world. Ultimately, R&D has to improve people's lives. New drugs, safer and healthier living environments, better paying jobs. And our research needs to translate into innovation and value. To do that, the government has set aside $200 million to bring ideas more quickly to the market. Meanwhile, the council is casting its net wide. We know that there is a diaspora of Singaporeans out there who have established themselves as top-notch scientists, you know, academics. And it's hoping to woo them back here. So now those who have been away the last 10, 15 years and developed their own research labs, their own research capabilities abroad, we want to see how we can attract them back or at least to build up our connections with them. Mr Lee also says that Singapore is an IT-dependent economy. Everybody is online all of the time. All our systems are online all of the time. One malfunction, as you have seen recently in Bukit Panjang, causes disruption to many people's work, lives, conveniences. Malfunction is one thing. Security against deliberate threats is another thing. And that's why a further $130 million have been set aside to boost national cyber security. All you need is one bad cyber attack averted and you've paid back all the research you've put into that. And I think nobody can say that our system is safe and we don't need to secure it and nobody can break in. The plans will be rolled out in the next five years.